first bike that I ever owned was uh, was a dirt bike I had bought off of uh, this kid that lived at the end of my street and uh, my mother said I couldn't have one so I bought one anyways and uh, I kept it at his house and we rode it every day after school and uh, that was my first dirt bike a Yamaha YZ125 because I've always been into these old bikes I haven't really ventured too far but I would say the longest ride I ever did was uh, the state of Florida pretty much from tip to tip all the way down to Key West and um, I don't remember how many miles that was but uh, I think I spent two days doing it maybe and um, I just remember it being a long ride and I have to say that was, was probably the longest ride and I was on a 1958 Harley Davidson Panhead well, it can be different for everyone, I would think. Uh, the way I do it is I prefer the old bikes. So I buy the old bikes, affordable as I can, and I restore them. I fix them up, take them apart, get them running again, and, um, and make them more valuable. I really like every part of motorcycling. You know, I like riding them, of course. Uh, I like playing the trips, going places on my bike, the free feeling it gives you. Um, you know everything about it I like even doing the maintenance on it um, well I have a network of friends that are also into the same thing as I am and um, so we're constantly you know trading parts uh, exchanging questions and ideas on how to solve problems how to fix certain problems um, we travel around together you know we go to the different swap meets so that's where we get our parts and uh, to fit these old bikes because most of this stuff they don't make anymore and uh, you know and of course riding together we plan rides together and um, and we all love hanging out and sharing the same hobby so it's uh, it's uh, really good for connecting with friends I would say there's pretty good motorcycle culture on the Cape uh, there's a large group of people that ride um, there's a lot almost year-round except for a few months of the year probably there's a, a lot of benefit rides a lot of these a lot of guys get together to uh, to raise money for different causes um, around the Cape and uh, and some of them are really big there's one called the Big Nick's Ride that uh, that pulls in probably 2,000 people um, I keep doing it because of the love of it you know uh, there's a little bit of danger factor in it, but uh, I tried to uh, to not ride for a little while, and I really missed it. And I decided I wanted to keep going with it. And um, you know, just the love of it, the feeling it gives me, the friends I make, um, everything about it, working on them with my hands and brain, you know, 